Hey guys, Colvin here. Welcome to another Raid Challenge video. Guys, I think Raid, I think Platinum is just trolling us with this 10x that's coming this weekend. If you guys don't know already, um, we have like a 10x or a 2x rotation. So we've got a 10x this weekend, next weekend, we're gonna have a 2x. We already had a, a 10x which was random yesterday and the day before that with uh, CCA and Cardiel, which I tried to get Cardiel on my main account, didn't get him whatever this 10x guys plarium is definitely trolling us with these two champions included in the 10x let's go and check out which champions are offered so guys this is the list of the 10x champions offered gurgo the ogre sherry manny samar gem cursed vizier of ellis exemplar anax sachi and burangiri these two champions samar gem cursed and Burangiri especially, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know their thing, I think they're just trolling us with the difficulty of the Doom Tower there, uh, all the players getting frustrated with with Bomo especially, uh, everybody's frustrated with Bomo and they're like, okay, please, please uh, let us beat this champion, it's overtuned, it's extremely difficult for us, all the players are just frustrated except for the end game players, with all the champions available, almost all the champions available, godly gear, they don't care about the difficulty of the Doom Tower really. Um, but the new players are finding difficulty in Bomo in all difficulties and all uh, stages of Bomo. As you guys might know already from other current creators and myself also, uh, Gem Cursed, Samar Gem Cursed and, <laughs> and Burangiri are two champions that can actually troll and solo the Doom Tower Bomo boss, okay? Burangiri can do it by himself for sure, uh, up to stage 50, and then uh, Samar Jemkers can do it even on 90, the difficulty on 90. So this boss can actually be solo by those two champions offered by the 10x. So uh, we'll go over and, and see them very quickly, uh, all of the champions offered the, through this 10x, guys. Uh, Gurgo the Agur, very first one. Um, it's, it's an amazing champion for PvP mostly, okay, guys? So I've got Gurgo. Amazing champion that freeze is insane. He can actually remove uh, buffs from enemies if you want to go for him through voids 10x I guess this is your time to go for him if you book it out. It's a hundred percent chance to freeze also um, I really like this champion in the sense of control that he gives can I absolutely freeze the enemy team and remove buffs at the same time He's void doesn't care uh, about affinity pretty solid champion if you want to have him for attack purposes he's since he's an attack champion, not that great. Everybody uses him mostly for that control purpose um, of having another control champion in their team or just that control. Uh, you have your speed booster, you have your control champion, then your uh, maybe defense down champion goes uh, or your two nukers can go then. After that, we got Shiri Mani, another champion I don't have. She does have some good healing and she does have a freeze on her A3. I do like the healing that she can provide to um to the team and the freeze but honestly i will not be summoning to get her she's one of the champions i don't have maybe you know thinking about it maybe it's you know these 10 x's that i should be opening shards in so i can get the champions that i'm still missing i'm honestly just saving my my shards for something special that might come in the future maybe a champion such as you know who knows dracomorph 10x might even come i, I really want dracomorph he's not going to change many of my teams i just want one so um, I'm probably going to be saving my shards for um, those very special 10Xs. The, the next one in the list, guys, Samar Jemkers. Let's go and see this guy. So Samar Jemkers, as I said, he's the guy that solos um, the Bomo boss on all difficulties. So if he can do it on 90 hard, then he can do it on all other difficulties. The reason that he can do it, guys, is because of his passive. It's a great passive. Place a block damage buff on this champion for one turn at the start of each round. But... Active effect blocks incoming damage and plays a block damage buff on this champion for one turn when they receive a hit that would drop their HP below 30%. So the way that this works is because he's going to be um, quite fast. He's going to be faster than the bombs and this cooldown on his passive will be uh, rotated through and he'll actually block the damage coming from those um, from those bombs and he'll be healing through his A1. Tax one enemy heals by 15% of this damage inflicted. If the champion has 50% HP or less, fill this champion meter by 15%. He has more than 50% HP. Fantastic A1. Um, his A2 does damage based on the HP uh, differential. 
and the A3 is an AoE. Honestly, it's his A1 that he keeps him alive uh, throughout the fight. And you can go check out a video. I think Stu Gaming and BGE did a video on this guy. Next one up, guys, is another champion that I could have said is one of the troll champions because the issue with uh, the bomb all is that if you want to go in there and apply a, an accuracy down debuff on the boss, then you need a debuff extender. And Vizier is the best debuff extender out there in the game. If you still don't have him, he's going to be insane for your clan boss team. This is a, a huge, a huge 10x for this champion. Okay. I would go for it if I was just looking for a huge improvement to my clan boss team. If you don't have a clan boss team um, that can do solid amount of damage through poisons already, this guy will unlock it for you if you manage to summon him, okay? It's a 10x. We've got many champions out there. The chances are low. There's not a 2x going on for Ancients or um, Sacreds at the moment. So the chance to get a dupe for me is big. If I do summon him, I have already two copies of this guy. But you guys, if you don't have this guy already, you can definitely use him. And he can be also used for Bomo in a manual team where you decrease the accuracy of the boss and then you go in there and extend the decrease accuracy so if you have a team with 500 plus resistance you can actually resist all the bombs and stuns that bomol does and this is the way that you win um in a manual method if you want to push through uh bomol this is the guy that unlocks it definitely solid champion amazing champion but i think plarium is trolling us today next one guys is exemplar so exemplar the way that she works is her a1 was recently changed and this is amazing because this works great for the Doom Tower Eternal Dragon. Not this rotation that we have right now, guys. So what this does is it can put one of the target skills on cooldown, full cooldown, if there's a weekend already and she and she does a crit. Or if there's no weekend and she still does a crit, she can put it up by two turns duration. So if it's a, it's a skill that's coming, it's going to go up by two turns. So the next turn that the boss takes or the enemy takes, they're going to have the skill on cooldown and they won't be able to do it. So it's a nice way to control the Eternal Dragon if you want to have um, Exemplar in your team. She does have a weekend on her A2 and a block active skills and a chance to freeze on her A3. You can actually use this with the recent um, showcase that I did with a freeze and a dark uh, Elhane for the Dark Fey boss in this rotation of the Doom Tower. So a cool epic to have, but nothing that I would summon for um, personally. Next one in the list is Anax, guys. So this guy is great for the clan boss, actually. Decrease defense on the A1, decrease accuracy on the A2, plus poison debuffs, and then A3, look at this, a weekend, and also a big heal for this guy. So very solid for the clan boss. Poisons, decrease defense, weekend is all that you need for the clan boss to boost your damage potential. And then he also has a passive that gives him an extra turn when he drops uh, his HP below 10%. He also plays an increased defense buff or an increased attack buff on this guy. So pretty solid champion for boosting your damage. Works great with Vizier actually. So if you have both of them, he, uh, Vizier can extend everything that this guy applies. Um, you don't really want the decreased accuracy, but everything else you do want in on the boss and uh, it's going to boost your damage potential by big, big amounts. Next up, guys, is Sachi, a Shadowkin support champion. So I do think that Sachi personally is a great support in Arena, okay? The reason uh, for this is, let's say you have a high Katoon in Arena, you really want to be boosting your team's speed uh, up. She gives a speed up buff and a speed boost, but you don't have an increased attack. That's where Sachi comes in as the supporting booster champion that will go second. So Sachi will go second, actually boost your team's attack by the increased attack buff and then also boost their turn meter if she does a critical um hit so you're gonna have it with 100 percent crit rate she's gonna be boosting the attack and turn meter so a great way to boost your final damage nuker so remember you're gonna have your first booster sachi as your second maybe a defense down champion as your third and then your nuker as your fourth so your fourth usually is gonna be your slowest champion the boost from both Haikatoon and Sachi is going to make your team much easier to be speed tuned. So definitely consider her if you don't have an increased attack champion at the moment. And this additional boost in turn meter can be actually insane uh, for your own team. She is force affinity though. So if there's targets out there that are spirit, she gets a weak hit. She will not get the crit in there and the boost will not happen. So those things can be the 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 bad things that can happen with a champion like a Sachi in there 
So consider that as well. And then finally, Burang Giri, the champion that everybody will be looking for, uh, honestly, because it seems to be, he seems to be like the answer for the Doom Tower hard um, all the way to 15. 90 is still an issue in beating 90 with this guy, but definitely a fun champion to try out because of his passive, heals this champion by 50% of their max HP whenever an ally or an enemy dies. So the enemy dread bombs, the, the ones that uh, bomb all the boss summons, do 40% of your health as damage. This guy heals by 50%. So he basically cannot die from that, but he can definitely die from the boss. Okay, so uh, this guy is insane in there. I do like the way that this guy works in this cheese method. Um, unfortunately, we still haven't found a way to use him at hard 90. So if you want to go all the way to hard 50, then you might consider summoning your shards for this guy if you don't have them. I mean, this is the answer, but I don't like what, what Plyum is doing. Like, okay, there's this boss. It's so difficult, but here's the 10x summon for these champions that the community has found as answers for uh, for the Doom Tower. We're not going to change the Doom Tower. We're just going to give you the 10x and go crazy with shards for it. We're going to give you crazy packs for sure. So um, we'll see. We'll see what kind of packs come like with Burangiri and Samara the Gem Cursed as the main face of those packs. That will be insanely trolled by Plarium. Anyway, guys, thank you a lot for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.